Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. Very happy to be with you today, coming at you live. It is uh, Monday, and I'm obviously running a little bit late, but I'm happy to be connecting with all of you. I'm going to move this up just a little bit so we can get a little bit more of Kuan Yin in there as we don't want to cut off her beautiful, beautiful body. And so today we're going to be focusing on financial blessings, forgiveness, chanting and tracing for blessing our finances. I was a little caught up in a previous task, but I'm glad to have been reminded uh, by heaven to come to you now and serve you now. And so um, when I checked this morning as to what what should be my live stream? What should I focus on today? I heard that everyone is having financial stress. And so I said, well, I guess I'm going to have to do a day or so of practices and remind people what they can do to help alleviate some of those stressors. <clears throat> so I figured today was a pretty popular subject matter. You know, who wouldn't want to have more financial flourishing? It seems to be a pretty highly demanded request. And yet a lot of times it is with in our reach. There is um, one of the students that recently used this book. And actually it's probably not correct to call this person a student as they, they knew very, very little about the wisdom and teachings of Master Shah. They certainly knew less about uh, the blessings within this calligraphy that's in this book. And yet they, they trusted the person that recommended it for their financial blockages. <clears throat> and they did what the person suggested. They did it for about 30 uh, days. And um, it was shortly thereafter where they experienced quite a large miracle, financially speaking. Um, and so sometimes it does take practice. Sometimes it does take consistency. I'll, I'll give you more about that story in a little bit. Um, we'll just wait for everyone to fully tune in here. <clears throat> Plus, who's joined us today? Welcome, Kathy Arnold. Aloha, Sharon Dodd. Aloha and welcome, Heather. Welcome, Larissa. Aloha, Alicia. And welcome also to Jennifer. Welcome, Missy. Aloha, M.A. Drade. Welcome, uh, Kristen Rojas. Aloha to Heather Houston and NNC, Janice Crosby. Welcome. Welcome, Magdalena. And welcome also to Nelson and Dawn. Aloha, Tali. And aloha, Mary Lou. Welcome, Annette, welcome also to Pat JD and welcome Trinity. Welcome D.O. Aloha Nada and welcome also to Michelle. Welcome Erica and welcome Joanna. Aloha Diana Victoria, welcome also to Shirley Newtfield and Carol Whitney, welcome. Aloha to um, Jamie McDonald and welcome Annette Leva and also Angie, if I missed your name, forgive me. A lot of names kicking in there. <clears throat> and both Angies. We have an Angie Taylor and an Angie Kenny. So thank you uh, for coming today. And again, I apologize for being a little bit late. <clears throat> so today we're going to be focusing on bringing flourishing to our life. And we're going to utilize a couple of different um, ways to clear the blockages and bring in the financial blessings that we want. So let's go ahead and start by connecting heart to heart, soul to soul. We're going to place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. Drop the left hand in the front of the heart center, right hand gently remain pointed upwards. Let's close our eyes and I'll divide, invite in the beings of light. So there are layers of the divine, the Tao and the source. All beings of light serving the planet of the light side, including stars, planets, galaxies, universes, beloved mother earth. All Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, angels, healing angels, archangels, masters and ascended masters, lamas, sifus, gurus, saints. We love you all, honor you all, respect you all. And I bow down to each and every one of you. We ask your presence at this time. We ask for you to assist each and every one of us to be consistent with the practice that will be offered today. We ask your guidance, wisdom, and blessings to help us clear all of the blockages that inhibit us from having the financial flourishing that we would enjoy. I ask you to also borrow my mouth so that I can offer wisdom and teachings as to how we can have greater flourishing in our lives. I'm very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the Source, Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony, trans 
transmitted to all souls and all universes. We love you, honor you, appreciate you. We invite you to please turn on, and we invite all souls and all universes to chant with us at this time to offer their unconditional service. So for those new just tuning in, this is a mantra. It is a soul song, and it is one that absolutely can change your frequency and help you to keep flourishing in your life. <clears throat> you can learn more. Thank you, Kristen Rojas. She's an awesome universal servant for posting that information. So for now, please receive the blessing. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, 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 Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula. Lula, li, lula, lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo xin er ling, wo ai tran ran le, huan ling rong er mu shir sheng, xiong ai ping an er xie. Xiong ai ping an he xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So welcome also to Lillian Kaur. Welcome to Julia Abbott. Aloha. Aloha Mike Capo. Welcome Deborah Anderson. Aloha Walfred Herschel. Welcome also to Don Robinson, Judy Parker. Welcome Robin Toth. And welcome um, Shelley. Welcome also to Christina Walker. Thank you all for coming. Thank you for joining. If you are new to my live streams, I've been doing this about a year, Monday through Thursday, same time. And it's always about the subject of soul, all things soul. What is the soul? How does the soul work? How to communicate with the soul? How to clear soul blockages? So I'm going to spend two or three minutes teaching about soul blockages associated with finances. Uh, and then we're going to apply, well, maybe four or five minutes, and then we're going to apply those wisdoms, okay? The wisdoms that I teach are from my teacher, who is Dr. and Master Shah. Uh, here is a picture of him, the gentleman here that is uh, Mandarin Chinese. This is one of his newest books called Tao Science. And this is another new book I'll use called The Greatest Love. And um, Master Shah uh, teaches a very basic principle that I can't imagine anyone arguing with, which is that... All failure and all success in every aspect of life has its roots in karma. Now, even if <clears throat> you have the opposite, you can have people that have, uh, they, they bust their tail, they do their job, they get the PhD, and still they can't seem to rub two nickels together. Karma. Then you have the opposite. You have the people that are not good people. You have the people that are, um, they're just not very pleasant, and yet they're millionaires, billionaires. Well, they've taken advantage of people in almost every case, which creates the karma. Or um, they had received good financial karma from a spouse in a previous lifetime, not spouse, excuse me, a ancestors or their own actions in previous lifetimes. And then they fell off the wagon this lifetime and are making some pretty bad choices, which means next time around, they'll probably be a, a, a person living on the streets. So karma is the answer for everything, whether we like to hear it or not. So the key is to comprehend that on a very deep level. Once you really grasp that, you can make the necessary changes. And now that we have enough people, I'm going to share with you a story that was uh, shared with me not too long ago. Welcome Dub Sabaron, welcome Danta, welcome Kristen Strachan, Aloha Richie Souder, and Donna Bawana, and welcome Patricia Dickinson. <clears throat> so this uh, story was shared with me about two weeks ago from one of the local students here in Hawaii. And she had just moved into a new uh, residence where there was uh, two people living. And one of the persons living there 
was having significant financial difficulty. And he explained this to her. He says, that's why I'm looking for a roommate because my whole life I have had no problem with finances. And in this last year, everything went south for the winter. And he said, I just, I'm just spinning. I don't, I don't know how to get out of it. And he um, is a devout Christian. Uh, didn't have any belief necessarily in karma or any of the stuff we will be using today. Uh, but the student said to him, well, are you interested in a, a series of practices that can help you? He said, sure. She says, you have to open your mind a little bit because it's not like your traditional Christian teaching. She says, that's okay. Nothing's been working so far. My mind is open. She said, and you'll have to do the practice consistently. That's really one of the keys. He said, okay, I'm open. And so what he did was he brought her this book. Uh, she brought, excuse me, she brought him this book. Um, it's called The Greatest Love. And she explained to him, you know, you can read it if you like. It's not necessary, but it'll give you some good insights. She said, but the key is this. Do forgiveness practice every day. Be consistent. Make sure you do it. How often? Every day. How, um, how many of you who are watching do it every day? Every day. I doubt, those, especially those of you that have financial blockages and have been following me for a while, have been following Master Shah's teachings and complain about their finances, I doubt that you are doing this every day. Why? Because you're probably too busy complaining. Anyway, so, so she told him that's number one. You must do a, a serious and significant forgiveness practice every day. He said, okay. She, he said, what's number two? He said, you need to trace the calligraphy that's in this book called Da Ai. And you need to do it every day. So what's, what's this tracing? What's it mean? And what's, about, what's it all about with this calligraphy? And she said, it's kind of hard to explain for, that you would grasp it. But basically, the calligraphy uh, c carries power. It connects to the source. And when you trace it every day, you're clearing blockages and bringing blessings to you. <clears throat> he said, okay, I'll do anything. Because he was at wit's end. Which is really sad, because almost all of us have to get to wit's end before we do something. Right? Isn't that the truth? It doesn't matter if it's a major health issue or if it's, it's the boss or whatever it is. We almost get to the end where we literally have no more power for anything. And then we'll try that one thing that the friend's been telling us about for every year. Right? And then we do, of course, it works. And we wonder, why didn't we do that a year ago? It's called ego. Okay? We all have it. And it serves to not... Um, not give it much attention. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do exactly what worked for this gentleman. Now, uh, I don't know the exact number of days, but somewhere between 30 and 60 days because I know uh, when she moved to this location, I don't know when she told me the story, which was about two weeks ago. So that puts it between 30 and 60 days. And this gentleman, according to her, told her that he did it every day. Here's how the story goes, and I'm, I'm stating it as clearly as I heard it. He came and knocked on her door and he said, you're not going to believe what happened. She said, what? And he said, within this last hour, I had basically three miracles occur. And he said, I woke up this morning and I wasn't really interested in doing the practice again, but I just, I, I, I did the practice. You know, I did my forgiveness practice. I traced for the half hour, like you and she told him to trace a half hour, 30 minutes, okay? And I did my practice. And he said, about an hour later, I got a phone call. And I had a $45,000 debt released. It was hanging over his head, something to do with, with a, a, a business partnership issue. $45,000 debt released. And that was probably somewhere costing him somewhere around $1,000 a month on a monthly payment, something to that effect. That's my guess. He said, then I got a call from my boss. And my boss said, we're giving you a raise and we want to extend your contract. Then he said, and we're giving you a bonus of $6,000. He said, this all happened within the period of about a half hour. Now he had to do the necessary steps for between 30 and 60 days. It might take some of us a year, 
It might take some of us less. You're going to discern why as I go through this practice. So, let's see. Aloha, Robert Dosa. Aloha, Tahir. Uh, aloha to uh, Joanne. And if anybody else, welcome Elizabeth Marie. I think I've got everybody. Okay. Welcome Phyllis Casper. So, yes, you have to do the necessary work. Why will it take somebody 30 or so days and they get these miracles and other people, they can have them tomorrow. That's happened to me. And other people, it could take them a year. Why? 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 Why are they so special? It's not about specialness. It's about the level of spiritual debt. Very, very simply. You, if you hurt people physically, does that hurt their finances? What do you think? If you take somebody out in a car accident, does that impact their finances? Absolutely. They could be, uh, they could literally not have had the right insurances. They could lose their job. They may have to go to workman's comp all because of a car accident that maybe you were uh, the, the initiator of. What if in the past, instead of a car accident, it was a horse accident and you ran over somebody's leg and they were a farmer so they couldn't farm and because they couldn't farm they couldn't take care of the household because they couldn't take care of the household the wife and the kids starved and then they had to sell their land and then they had to go live in a hovel someplace on the side of a mountain and barely survive all because your horse stepped on their leg in other words we don't know the history of what brings the conditions of negative financial karma to us very hard to put the finger on top of it unless you're really good at reading the Akashic Records. And even then, even if you could read the Akashic Records, you're not going to see all, you know, two, three, four, five, six hundred lifetimes of stuff. You're only going to get the, 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 the important stuff, uh, but it doesn't reach everything. What if you harm somebody in relationship? Okay. You go and you, you gossip. And that gossiping causes their relationship to break up, which then causes the husband to sue the wife for the house. And then they also have to break up the business. And then the kids, they go separate ways or they go sideways. And maybe the kids were on a trajectory for great success. They cannot have that great success now because there's no more college fund. Uh, or maybe they go down the psych, a, a, a psychotic path because of the breakup. And it happened because of a gossiping that you did. You don't know what you have done a previous time that creates the karma of finances in this lifetime. Do you get it? We, we have to really think. We have to really recognize that something is like gossiping. We, we say it's simple, but it could cause those kinds of very, very significant issues. You don't know if your great grandpappy was a banker and he stole people's land through fraudulent activity. And you didn't do anything wrong, but your great grandpappy did. And it goes down the lineage until it gets to you and you're screwed, so to speak. And you're like, well, that's not fair. It wasn't me. Why should I be the one that has to pay for great, great grandpappy's fraudulent activities? Well, the opposite is, what if great, great grandpappy was a very good soul? And he took care of people and he took the coat off his back and put it on people so that they didn't freeze to death. That great grandpappy's good karma comes to you. And that's those people that you see that are having a good time in this lifetime and don't have any financial issues because they have done good karma and or their ancestors have done good karma. So it works both ways. And the ability to look backwards and see it all is really, really difficult, which is why you don't put a lot of attention on it. You just put your attention on what you know can make the difference. Okay. And that's you. You can make the difference. And in order to make the most significant difference, you need to apply the greatest power and focus possible. You do that by every day doing a forgiveness practice and every day doing something that brings virtue into your bank account in heaven. Welcome Robert Dosa. Uh, welcome also to Katie Nada. Welcome Minal Sharma. Welcome Patty uh, Rosinger. And welcome Master Elizabeth. Welcome also to Johnny. And welcome Linda Adam. Thank you all for joining. Obviously, finances is a big issue. And so, one of the keys of this success is the comprehension of soul and soul power. 
when you deal with everything at the level of soul, which is what Master Shah teaches everything, you deal with everything at the level of soul. Why do you have blockages financially? Because your soul is carrying information on it from lifetime to lifetime, and in this case, negative information in relationship to finances, a karmic, whatever you want to call it, okay? And this is the origination, and so you have to deal with it at the level of origination. We try to deal with it down here. We get our education, we get our, you know, we do this, we do that, we jump through hoops, we take loans, blah, 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 and yet we still get beat over the head. If you try to fix it at the physical level, you'll get some success, but it's not going to solve all your problems. Even the people that are financially successful, if they have karma, they get nailed. You see it left and right every day. So you have to deal with the karma at the level of origination, which is the level of soul. Master Shah has brought to us the techniques to accomplish this, and he only states that you must do it consistently. He doesn't say, you know, if you have cancer one day and you do the practice once, cancer is going to go away. No, he says if you have cancer, do the practice as long as it takes until it's gone because you don't know what karma brought the cancer to you. You also don't know what cancer brought the financial blockages to you. You do the practice until things get better. And then when they get better, you ramp up the practice because what's happening? Your virtue bank in heaven, because you have a virtue bank in heaven, is what translates to your physical bank on earth. This is not my words, this is Master Shah's wisdom. We all have a bank in heaven, it's a virtue bank, and it translates to money on earth dependent upon how much virtue is in it. Are we doing good things? Are we serving others? Are we clearing our karma? Do we have ego? Are we going out of our way to be selfish? Are we um, doing unpleasant things by thoughts, words, or actions? We might be doing half and half. We might be doing unpleasant things, thoughts, words, and actions, but then over here we go to church and we go help people on at, at, at the uh, markets and, you know, so heaven looks at it and says, well, you're not really gaining, you're not really draining, you're, you're pretty much balanced out. You have to put positivity and positive karma into your bucket in heaven before it rains back here. So the beauty of the Tao Source calligraphies, which I'll show you one of them now. This is a Tao Source calligraphy here. You see it? This is called Da Ai. The beauty of the Tao Source calligraphies is that they carry heaven's virtue. They carry heaven's virtue. What is heaven's virtue? Heaven's virtue is money on earth. It's health on earth. It's happiness on earth. Virtue creates health and happiness, financial flourishing. So it's pretty logical when you break it down. You want to put as much of it in your bank account as possible. Master Shah has brought the tools and techniques to do this. We ask forgiveness, we chant to serve others, and we trace. What does these three things do? Forgiveness removes spiritual debt. Spiritual debt is what takes away from our bank account. It's kind of like owing, having to pay bills to somebody. Your bank account has a thousand in it, you got to pay bills, bank account goes down. Not very fun, right? That's a, neg a negative, right? Well, in heaven, we have debt. We have to pay it off. That debt is because we or our ancestors created harm upon other people's lives by thoughts, words, or actions such as what was just given examples of. So when we um, do good and positive things or do something to add virtue to our bank account, uh, when we ask forgiveness, some, not all, some of those souls that we have harmed or our ancestors have harmed, they watch us. They say, hmm. Yeah, I know it's this person's ancestor, but that great great grand grandpappy, he really hurt us. He took our livelihood. He took our land. We then, you know, I lost I lost my, my wife to poor health because they didn't have enough medical money to pay for her. And my children didn't weren't able to get educated, all because that great great grandpappy. I'm not ready to forgive. That could be the case. Some of those souls are not ready to forgive, therefore that debt remains. But eventually, if you build up enough good virtue, it pays off the debt, okay? Same thing happens. So when you ask forgiveness, and you do it every day, 
maybe 35 days later, maybe six months later, that same soul says, huh, this person is truly authentic. They're truly, truly serious. They recognize that they or their ancestors have made some significant mistakes. I see them every day asking for sincere forgiveness. I see them every day chanting and tracing to serve others. I'm going to release them of their, I'm going to release them of their debt now. And those souls at the soul level release. And therefore, the throttling is released. Think of it. Heaven has a virtue bank. You have a bank down here. It's like a tube. And in that tube, it gets very, very narrow. All of those who have financial blockages, think about it. Very, very narrow. Somebody put their hand around your neck, kind of hard to breathe, huh? That's what the karma is doing to our, our basically our money neck, okay? It's the, it's the tube between heaven and earth. It's being throttled. And when we do an authentic forgiveness practice, the throttling becomes less and the more we do it the less the throttling so this is one way to allow some of the virtue to come to you if you are doing good things and not doing a lot of bad things right when we chant to serve others what did i teach you love peace and harmony we did that earlier today master shah has been teaching this forever follow the link that kristen earl has put in her tabs download love peace and harmony Play it in your house 24-7. Chant it to serve others. Every time you say, Dear the song of love, peace, and harmony, I want to chant to serve others. Please go out and serve every soul in humanity for whatever they need most, and I will just chant to serve them. Okay? Heaven says, Wow, my son, my daughter is chanting to serve others. We will watch them and see if they are doing it from their heart. We will put virtue in their account. You don't see it, but your Akasha record opens up and flowers start dropping in. That's virtue. And your gold pages start showing up, okay? When you get enough flowers, it starts paying off some of the debts. This also lightens your financial burden. How often do you do it? I'm sorry, what? How often? Every day. Every day. Don't complain because you don't have a, a solution yet. Are, what are you doing? Are you forgiving from your heart every day? Are you chanting to serve others every day? That's two of the three things that you can do. The third one, you have to move your mind a little bit on. It's called tracing a calligraphy. Okay? Why would you trace a calligraphy? Especially if you're new, you're like, what the heck is this calligraphy? Okay? Let me show you again. This calligraphy is called Da I. Da I. It stands for the greatest love. Now, Master Shah is an extraordinary being. If you don't know who he is, do your homework. Go get a book or two from Master Shah. Go get the book called Greatest Love. Do your homework. Okay. The book that I'm using now is one called Soul Over Matter, which happens to be a financial book. Go get that book, Soul Over Matter. In here, it has a calligraphy. And this calligraphy has transmitted to it power. What kind of power? The kind of power that can change your finances. The kind of power that can improve your health. The kind of power that can release a lot of pain in your life. That's the kind of power that's been put in this calligraphy. Do you have to understand it? No. Do you have to trust it? No. You simply have to do what is being asked of you for a long enough period of time till you start to get validation and then do it a lot more after that because what are you doing? You're creating more positivity and good virtue into your life. So the Da I calligraphy carries in it virtue. How do we increase the virtue in our bank? We do service and we trace the calligraphy. How do we reduce the virtue running away from our bank and going in bad directions, paying off debts. We do forgiveness. When you put these together, you will get results. It only requires consistency. Now let's do the practice, okay? So everybody, sit up straight. Back away from the back of the chair. We're going to do a sincere forgiveness practice. Welcome, Master Uma. Welcome also to Opal. Welcome, um, Linda Adam Jamal. Welcome, Sanjita. Welcome, also, Siranjit. 
Welcome to uh, Becky Lafave. Bobby Boo, welcome. Aloha, Christine Myers. <clears throat> and welcome, Jenny Johansson. All right. And Kristen, thank you, Kristen, has been putting in the links to some of this information I'm talking about. So let us close our eyes, bring our thoughts, our mind, and our breath into our lower abdomen. <clears throat> Let's put our hands together in the Solite Era hand position. This is a hand mudra position. We drop the left hand in front of the heart center, the right hand gently pointed towards heaven. Close your eyes. I will lead you in this invocation. You can repeat whatever is comfortable. If you're not comfortable, don't bother repeating it, okay? Dear my beloved divine creator, my name is Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. State your name three times. I love you. Please bless me with this practice today. Thank you. Dear all the beings of light serving the plan of the light side, including planets, stars, galaxies, and universes, Mother Earth, including angels, healing angels, archangels, masters and ascended masters, lamas, gurus, sifus, and saints, beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, beloved Buddha, beloved Kuan Yin, and more. I love you all, honor you all, deeply respect you all, bow my head to you with the deepest respect. I most humbly ask your presence at this time to assist me to release the blockages to my financial flourishing. I would be deeply honored and grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we have now invited in outside souls to assist. Very important part of this practice. Continue. Dear all souls of humanity, all souls in all universes, my name is Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. State your name three times. Could you please come to this forgiveness practice? From the bottom of my heart, I wish to sincerely apologize on behalf of myself and my ancestors for any harm, suffering, or mistakes that we have made to you. I honestly do not remember making too many mistakes in this life. I have tried to do better to not hurt people and to not take advantage of people. But my finances are tight and I clearly understand that this is because of the karma that I and my ancestors have created. To all of the souls that I and my ancestors have harmed in jobs, if we have ever fired you, laid you off, if we have ever downsized your business, if I or my ancestors have ever bought out your company and removed your position, if I or my ancestors have ever taken your land through means that were not honest. If I or my ancestors have ever cheated, lied, taken advantage of you, your loved ones, or your ancestors, there is no excuse. There is simply no excuse. I, from the bottom of my heart, sincerely deeply and humbly apologize. If I or my ancestors have created ruin in your life as a result of gossip or power struggles, maybe we 
used both gossip and power to put ourselves in a position in which you, your loved ones, and your family suffered financially. I sincerely apologize. Our ego and our lack of oneness, our lack of simple respect for human to human. I know that to ask forgiveness is not enough. I deeply apologize and humbly hope that you will forgive us. If I or my ancestors have harmed you, your loved ones, or your ancestors physically, whether it was accidental or on purpose, whether it was in war or in everyday activity, and that physical harm caused any form of financial suffering for you, your loved ones, or your ancestors. I most humbly and sincerely apologize. I deeply regret any possibility of this ever occurring, that you or your loved ones may have lost your livelihood, may have lost your ability to think to do that job, or may have lost an arm or a leg, so you are no longer able to earn an income. I recognize that these things are possible. And if I or my ancestors have created such atrocities, from the bottom of my heart, I sincerely, sincerely apologize. If I or my ancestors have created treason through spiritual power struggle, taught wrong information, took advantage of you financially in the spiritual organizations, made up lies, made up stories that caused you to tithe and give money when in fact I or my ancestors may have been taking that money and not serving others, then I, on behalf of myself and my ancestors, humbly and sincerely apologize. It is completely unacceptable and I would never do anything like that in this life. Please forgive me. If I or my ancestors have spoken in such a unpleasant and derogatory way, treated you with such lack of respect, lack of love, that you had emotional and mental imbalance, and then this affected your finances and any other part of your life. <clears throat> there is again no excuse. If I or my ancestors have done any harm to you, regardless of the source, by wrong thoughts, words, or actions, then I wish each and every one of you to know how deeply regretful and sorry I am. Please consider forgiving me and my ancestors whatever we may have done. I have learned my lessons. My ancestors are learning their lessons now. I promise that with any financial flourishing that I receive, I will continue to serve to make others happier and healthier. I will continue to be a good person and not make the same mistakes again. I thank you for the opportunity to receive your forgiveness. So now we move to step two chanting and tracing. Who are we chanting for? We are chanting for all of those who we and our ancestors have harmed and taken advantage of. We will ask the virtue transmitted to these calligraphies freely 
to go to all of those souls and to serve them. Remember, we invited in Jesus and Buddha and all the beings of light. They are present. They will also go to all of those souls that we have harmed. And on our behalf, they will ask them to return to the light. They will ask them to forgive and move on. Because those souls have been stuck teaching us lessons. Let us chant Da I, which is the name of this calligraphy, and <clears throat> Greatest Love. Follow my lead, but first we connect to the calligraphy. So please continue to repeat. Dear the soul of this beloved Da I, Greatest Love calligraphy, the countless blessings, layers of divine Tao and Source, layers of temples, heavens, animals, virtue, blessings, and more transmitted to this calligraphy. I love you, honor you, deeply appreciate you, and I thank you. Could you please, as I chant and trace, deliver your blessings to all of those souls that I and my ancestors have harmed and bless them as appropriate to release their spiritual debt that I and my ancestor have created. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so now with your fingers together, I'm going to switch this camera back around for a moment. Put your fingers together like this, okay? Touch all five fingers together. There's a reason I won't explain it now. Connects, it connects important things in your body and your organs and systems and your health. And then you point towards that calligraphy and you follow the lines, okay? Do it with your heart. Do it to serve these other souls unconditionally, okay? Let us begin. Da I 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 die, 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 die. Greatest love, greatest love. Greatest love, greatest love, greatest love. Visualize from heaven huge virtue is going to all those souls that have been harmed from all of the beings of light. Virtue is being released to all those souls that have been harmed. They are standing in line, receiving bags of gold, in essence, bags of virtue, and they are accepting your request for forgiveness. They are signing on your Akashic record, releasing you of the spiritual debt that you and your ancestors had created for many lifetimes. The line 
is getting bigger as the virtue continues. Dai, 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 greatest love. Greatest love, greatest love, greatest love, greatest love. Do it with a smile. Send your greatest love, your greatest da'ai, to all of those families that have suffered as a result of our and our ancestors' unpleasant actions. Da'ai, 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 greatest love, greatest love, greatest love, greatest love, greatest love. Da I die. 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 So far, you've only been tracing five minutes. If you want to create financial miracles, you need to do this 30 minutes. Let us continue. Da I die. 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 Greatest love, unconditional love, melts all blockages, purifies my heart and soul. Greatest love, Unconditional love melts <clears throat> all blockages, purifies my heart and soul. Die, 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 die. 
的爱，大爱，大爱，大爱。Silently, visualize the many souls, many. Have bowed down to you and said, "Thank you, thank you, for finally realizing what you and your ancestors have done. Thank you for releasing me from this debt, for I wish to also move on with my soul journey. Thank you for awakening to the nature of spiritual virtue and spiritual debt." Doing your part. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And as you continue to chant, I advise you to bow your head, or see your soul bowing down to God, to Source, to all the beings of light who are also giving freely of their virtue to help at this time. They are freely. Going to many of these souls that are stuck, and they are giving them beautiful love and light, and saying, "Please, just forgive, let go." Die, 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 die. Die, 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 die. Greatest love. Three more minutes. Unconditional love. Melts all blockages, purifies my heart and soul. He sure die, who tell Jian I wrong? What? Last minute, he sure die. Won't you join me? Wrong, what's in a sin? Sin, sin, sin. How? How, how? <clears throat> thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us bow our heads with gratitude. We thank our beloved Creator, the Divine Tao Source. We thank beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, beloved Buddha and Kuan Yin. We thank the countless angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, ascended masters, lamas, sifus, gurus, saints. Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, we thank 
the light side, stars, galaxies, planets, universes, and beloved Mother Earth. We thank all of the souls that have forgiven us through this practice today. We deeply bow our heads to all of the souls who have forgiven us. We cannot bow down enough for this great gift. To all of the souls who have not forgiven us, or the many, many, and I saw millions of souls <clears throat> standing in line to receive virtue, but now there is no more because we stopped generating virtue to all of the souls that have not forgiven I will continue to serve I will continue to make others happier and healthier I will continue to do what it takes to pay back and pay off the debts that I and my ancestors have incurred I sincerely ask your forgiveness and I will earn the right to receive it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, so that was a very powerful, very, very powerful forgiveness practice. One of the reasons it was so powerful is because we did it in group. We have group karma. You may not know that, but all of those that keep coming back, there is group karma. So we're clearing that. When we do it in group, when three gather, you can cut gold. It's an ancient secret. And Master Shah reveals a lot of that in his books. We are more than three, and so we are doing more. <clears throat> this is soul power. This is soul wisdom. This is Master Shah's wisdom. He teaches us, heal the soul first, the mind and body follows. Heal the finances of your soul first. And the mind and body of your finances here on earth will follow. Fulfill the virtue bank in heaven through releasing your spiritual debts, through great and depthful forgiveness, through service to others, and through utilizing the power that Master Shah has put in his books and his calligraphy and you will reap the rewards you only need to be consistent that is all that is asked of you all that is required it is the greatest gift ever that you can imagine it is the greatest gift to be able to wash away these debts Truly, I tell you, 1,000 times faster than you could on your own is the biggest blessing ever. I cannot tell you how many people complain to me about their finances. The tools are in front of your eyes. The golden mountain is in front of your eyes. What will you do with it? For those that wish to get a much faster blessing, contact me. I've received a very special transmission that to, to my knowledge only about 30 people have received. <clears throat> it is a fourth dimension star and its um, attribute, it's called Lu Tzu Xing. Lu Sun Xing. And its attributes are financial blessings. I will ask this star to turn on while I offer a crown chakra blessing the honor fee is $100. So you will get a double blessing. Crown, crown chakra blessing alone is 100 But I will turn on this star. And somebody turned on this star and asked somebody to pay $20,000 for it. And they got paid $20,000. And then they gave them the blessing. Now, I don't know what the results were. But that's how much a person was willing to pay to receive that blessing. I will give that as part of the Crown Chakra Blessing for only the 100. If you're interested, contact me. My information is listed above. Uh, Kristen, she's, she's awesome. She puts a lot of posts in there. She'll probably, on my behalf, place my phone number. Uh, you can also, of course, text me through uh, Facebook Messenger. Okay? So 
you might not get that hundred back right away, but I guarantee you it will remove a lot of suffering and make the money come to you a lot faster as long as you do your part like today's practice. Today is recorded. I do recommend you go back and do practice with this recording as you will get a lot more out of it until you become familiar with how to do a deep forgiveness practice because that is one of the keys, okay? So I love you all. I'm grateful for this opportunity to serve you. I bow my head forever to my spiritual father, Master Shah. I am extremely grateful. Learn more about him if you're not familiar with him. He has many books. Some have been mentioned here today. Look in Kristen Rojas' posts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody.